Hi, everybody. This is Dave Frasilli with Holistic Health and Fitness and Holistic Health Vibrant Life, the podcast. This week's blog and podcast is about creating a false self. And in that false self, you're going to be able or you're going to create pain and suffering in your health, in your fitness, and in your well-being. Now, I know that's deep. But this is where I want to now start really taking you so that you can truly understand who you are and how you function as an integrated being of spirit, mind, and body, because that is what you are. And when you truly start understanding the spiritual aspect or the spirit aspect of who you are, then you start understanding at a very deep level how to create health and fitness and well-being in your life and how to create joy and happiness in your life, which is all a part of that well-being. So you as spirit are unconditional, without conditions. And you have a mind that creates thoughts. And you have a body which is for you to express and experience the physical world. And we've talked about this. The challenge is is that what, what happens with most of us through since childbirth and even in utero is we begin, our nervous systems, our spirit begins to be programmed by society and by our family units, et cetera. And we develop from that a personality, a person, a Dave personality, a Cindy personality, a John personality, whoever you are out there. If you say, if I asked you, who are you? You'd say, oh, okay, my name is John and this is what I do for a living and I'm married and I have three kids and um, this is how much money I make and this is my health and I got a bad knee and I got some pain in my lower back. Whatever that whole thing is that you would describe yourself as, describe yourself as. Well, the question is, is what is that self that you're describing? Is it your spirit? No, it's not. Your spirit is unconditional without any conditions. If you're describing something, those are conditions. So what is it that you're describing if you're describing yourself? What is that other self? It's a false self. Now we can call this part of your personality. We can call it your ego. We can call it your delusional mind. But what has happened is is the mind has basically created a personality of its own, which is not your spirit. And then what happens is is your spirit, because your spirit can say no or cannot say no to anything that you say is true, i.e. what your thoughts and beliefs are, your spirit flows into those thoughts and beliefs and then manifests in your life as your body and anything that's going on with your body. And as more belief systems and more thoughts, because they just fold into one another, creating more and more of the same psychosis. And then from there, your, your life experience, what you believe to be true about life, your friends, your family, your job, the world. So it is that false sense of self which is created through the thoughts, which becomes its own personality. But it's not real. It's not who you truly are. What you truly are is your spirit. And your spirit flows into whatever you believe about yourself until you begin to truly understand and go deeper into this. Start asking yourself, Who is it that believes me to be this way? Because it's not your spirit. It's not the beingness that you are. And then start thinking and going deeper into who truly am I? What is my true nature, my true self? Not my false sense of self, not the personality or the ego, same thing. Not the delusional mind of thoughts and, oh, this is what's happening in my life. Oh, I got to lose weight and I don't feel well and everything that we think about. Completely delusional. Start awakening to the spirit that you are. 
And from there, then you will realize how delusional you were being. <laughs> and you can let that drop. And then from there, from that deep sense of spirit, of consciousness, your true nature, when you begin to awaken to that, then you start experiencing the health and the fitness and the well-being without any of the resistance of the false sense of self that is saying, this is who I am and life is hard and I got to lose weight and my back hurts. And I know this is deep, but I think you're ready for this. I know you are. So for those of you that this is actually, it's making sense, it's touching a chord within you and you're saying, yeah, I kind of get that or I do get that. Then that means you're already on this path of waking or of awakening. And for those of you that are saying, oh, for the love of God, David, Jesus, okay, come on, now you're pushing it. Just understand that to be resistance. Resistance coming from where? Your false sense of self that doesn't want to give up. But even you know that there's something deeper within you. When you quiet your mind, there's a feeling of just being without any thoughts. So what's behind the thoughts? If you go beyond the thoughts or above the thoughts, what's there? That's your true nature. Start awakening to that. And then you can start creating the health and fitness and the well-being that you've always desired at a level that you could never even imagine. And I'm here to help. So please go ahead, go to iTunes, subscribe to Holistic Health, Vibrant Life. That's the podcasts. And you can, you can listen to these and all the other podcasts are there for you for free. So join the crowd and then rate and review those so I know that you want more of this because that's what I'm hearing. So that's why we're going this way. But if there's anything you want to hear about or read about, let me know. And then you can go to the website, www.holistichealth-fitness.com. And you can read the blog on that false sense of self and why it's creating pain and suffering in your health, fitness, and well-being. And then if you want to work with me or if you want to have a conversation, call me. My phone number is right on the website. Email me. Submit a question or that you need help with something, and we'll contact you, and we'll see about whether we can work together. We have courses online that we can do, the six components to health and wellness, so you don't actually have to come to the studio here in beautiful Ashland, Oregon. Can if you want, I have people that fly in, but we can work long distance. Remember, there's Skype and Facebook now, so it's as close as being just like this in real time. So I would love to be able to help you to create that health and that fitness and that well-being in your life. It's all there and it's all waiting for you right now. So until we get to talk, again, this is a day for Silly with Holistic Health and Fitness and Holistic Health and Vibrant Life, the podcast. And I wish for all of you a vibrant life. Take good care. <laughs>